After 47 years at Syracuse as a head coach, Jim Beheim not returning next season. Syracuse making the announcement hours after the Orange lost in the final seconds to Wake Forest in the second round of the ACC tournament. And Beheim hinted at retirement, leaving it up to the school in his postgame comments. Former Syracuse player and associate head coach Adrian Autry will be the next head coach of the basketball program. Now, Beheim started his Syracuse journey as a freshman walk-on in 1962. He later became an assistant, took over the program in 1976, leading the Orange to five Final Fours. With Carmelo Anthony and Hakeem Warwick, he won a national title in 2003, and he finishes with the second most wins by a head coach in D1 history. Only Coach K has more. The Big East icon inducted in the Naismith Hall of Fame in 2005. For much more, let's bring in College Game Day's Jay Billis from the ACC Tournament in Greensboro. Jay, what's your reaction to the news that Jim Beheim is not returning? Kevin, I'm not surprised, but at the same time, uh, I, I, I feel uh, grateful that we had Jim Beheim for so long and that he did such an amazing job and has been such an icon in the game for so long. You know, he, he started recruiting me when I was 17 years old growing up in Los Angeles, and I've known him for that long. And uh, he's not only been a friend and a mentor, but uh, but one of the truly great coaches in the game's history. I, I do feel for him that, that this was not perhaps the way he wanted. That wasn't the most graceful way that this could have been handled. But I don't think anybody now talks about Willie Mays and worries about, you know, his last year with the Mets. Mm. Uh, it, it has been an amazing career. And, and I feel like celebrating it rather than, than worrying about how the, the, the very end happened. Uh, he, he's just been an amazing coach for an incredibly long time. I mean, you mentioned it. When he got there as a player, John F. Kennedy was president. When he became the head coach, Gerald Ford was president. Mm. And none of these players know a world without Jim Beheim as, as the Syracuse head coach. Yeah, uh, upstate guy from New York, of course, 60, nearly 60 years on that campus. What's Beheim's legacy in your mind? I think Jim Beheim's legacy is one of the truly great coaches and strategists and innovators in the game's history. You, you can't mention a 2-3 zone without Jim Beheim coming uh, up first. Uh, he took that and made it into an art form. Uh, he made it one of the most feared defenses uh, in basketball. He was consulted first by everyone from the NBA all around the world on how to play that zone and, and how to play it well. Uh, he went to multiple Final Fours with it, won a national championship in 2003 behind Carmelo Anthony and Jerry McNamara and Hakeem Warwick. Uh, he, he's just been associated with the game for so many decades, it's hard to think, just like it was with Mike Krzyzewski and Roy Williams and Dean Smith and John Wooden, Bob Knight, you name it, Jim Calhoun, it's hard to, to, to think about the game without Jim Beheim's name coming up among the, the, the Mount Rushmore types. Uh, that's how important he's been to the game. And, and you mentioned the Big East. Uh, I think those Big East battles, whether it was the six overtime game against UConn mm. back in the day, or all those all those back alley brawls he had with uh, with Georgetown and and Villanova, uh, you name it. Uh, you know, Jim Beheim is synonymous with basketball, and uh, and I'm grateful uh, I got to be around for so much of it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.